Yeah, so when we do moves at the speed and scale of a Defender series, and Defender 20 in this case, Defender Europe 20, uh, it takes an, an entire team of teams to pull that off, not only inside ourselves, where we have our reservists, which are, we call it total force integration. So we have 2,700 reservists in our deployment support command that reinforce, they're really the secret sauce, the muscle that we need uh, in order to execute our missions through the nodes. And we're operating multiple nodes, which are seaports simultaneously to do that. And then of course, another key entity to this is our commercial carriers and partners. Not only the port authorities, when we're doing all the intermodal activities, the rail carriers, that are bringing in all the combat power. 70% of the Army is going to go from a power projection platform to a port by rail. So our ability to integrate and synchronize our rail activities with our commercial carriers and partners and script the alignment and flow of forces from the post camp station to the port onto the vessel in the right stowage capacity and the right stow plan so that it rolls off the ramp with the right optics, the right warfighting effect, but more importantly gets to the tactical assembly area. So we stream it all the way through working with the theater sustainment commands and everybody else to make sure that we can do this uh, effectively. So again, I, I'm probably missing people because there's so many players in the team of teams. Not a, you know, the brigade combat teams play a role, the divisions play a role, forces command plays a role, the corps, everybody has the theater sustainment commands. Everybody has a piece to the puzzle, and so our ability to synchronize and integrate all our activities is going to allow us to achieve the speed factors that we want and deliver the right optics and effects, you know, to deter our enemies and assure our allies. Yeah, so I just described some of that, our, you know, so the, the term fourth component was coined by General McDo and General Lyons was the deputy then and he's now the commander of Transcom. He's embraced the term the fourth component and more importantly, the commercial carriers and partners who are the fourth component have really, really embraced this term. So in U.S. Transportation Command, we have the air component, the Navy component, and the Army component. The fourth component is our commercial carriers and partners. What's special about this is it's one thing for me to look at our commercial carriers and partners and say, you're our partner, thank you for that. But when we say you're a teammate and you're on the team, that's what the fourth component means. I think they've truly embraced this and it shows in just the, the synergy that we get when we're doing things at scale. And I think you see that throughout the Defender Europe series. Well, we need the repetitions and we need the practice. Uh, strategic readiness, which is what we talk about at the Army, is our ability to force project, to project forces. It's one thing that you're tactically ready when you're sitting at your post camp station and you're trained and you're ready. That's a tactical readiness. But true strategic readiness is our ability to project power and be at the, to any place at the time and place of our choosing. That's what makes us a superpower. 85% of the counter of, of the armed forces resides in the continental United States and it's got to go somewhere. So we play an away game and the fact of the matter is, you know, that's, you know, that's why these things are so important is we have to practice so that we get the discipline and the speed to project when our nation needs it and to be there at the right time uh, to deliver the warfighting output that matters.